Today I'm testing my gigabit uh, fiber optic ethernet connection. I mean, my actually just my internet connection. Uh, I have an old T-Mobile Asus uh, gigabit router, which is supposed to support uh, gigabit connections over wireless uh, five gigahertz. I just did a test. I'm getting 780 download and 900 upload. So uh, in theory, usually you won't hit speeds up to that with wireless. Um, uh, my wireless router is two walls behind, about 15 feet away. Here's my router, but then it has to go through this wall and then through this wall to get to these devices over here. So I tested it on some devices. Uh, this is an iPad 2, which even though it connects to the five gigahertz, I, I don't think it truly connects to the five gigahertz connection. I get 40 megabits, iPad 2, iPad Air 1, 35 meg megabits download. Now for the newer ones like iPad Air 2 or iPad uh, Pro, and even this um, iPad 7, I'm getting speeds from 150, this is, uh, this is iPad 7, 150, and on a good day, I can get a 300 megabit connection. So it all depends what time and what your router is doing. Uh, on on my ISP Gigamonster, they, they said that expect speeds from 150 to 300, and I'm actually seeing that kind of uh, speeds on all my devices. Um, here on my Android device, I'm getting 180 on my Samsung A7 wireless Android device, Pixel 3 XL 228, 280 for my, uh, this is just a placeholder, but I tested this with a Pixel 3a, 275, 234 with a OnePlus 7T, upload speeds are pretty good over on this one. Uh, this is an old iPhone SE, and I get 100 megabits. Uh, so, long story short is, uh, with Gigamonster, I am getting pretty, some decent speeds. Uh, if you're hoping to get 1,000 megabits through wireless, it all depends on, you know, the device you're downloading from, and also the your router. So if you have a better router, you might be able to achieve higher uh, download and upload speeds. Um, mine is an AC1900 T-Mobile uh, Asus router, and so I think it falls in line with what uh, Gigamonster is saying. So on Gigamonster's website, they have these suggested internet speeds. You can see that they never list 1,000 megabits. And so it is in line with their estimates because there's a lot of factors, how many walls there are, the distance from your router to your device, your router, and also, you know, where you're downloading from, like the internet site you're getting from. So, so far I've been on Gigamonster for a few, few weeks and uh, hasn't really gone down. And so, and the speeds have been, you know, the download speeds, even though they're not above a thousand, they're almost up to a thousand eight hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred download, and then nine hundred for upload. So that's my short review of Gigamonster. Hopefully. I don't have issues with uh, the internet going down too often.